Hello, hello, uh, how do you read? Every, how are we sounding? Is everything sounding good? Can everyone make me out a hundred percent? Yippee. Here Sounds we are. We're, oh, Hubert's back. Hey, hey, we got we got some some other people in the channel. We, I'm I'm Jamie, by the way. I probably should have introduced myself when we started. I'm Jamie. I'm an artist. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Um, we have also in the channel we have Hubert. You guys know Hubert, surely. And we have uh, X3J50, our marketing manager. Um, hey. Should we start out by I'm gonna explain what we're actually doing here. So this is going to be the art pass stream. Now, obviously, we're not going to get it done in one stream because an art pass is a very lengthy process um, and it goes through several iterations. Uh, what we're going to be doing is I've been given the gray box by the level design team slash game design team in brackets cross. Uh, and uh, my job now is to make it look you know great it's gonna look cool it's gonna look like the rest of the heavy containment zone here um here we are in the heavy containment zone i've got unity open you know we're ready to to, to roll but uh there it is look at that look at that is there there it is it's through that door it's through that door it's the unity crew it's going so cool all right so um we're gonna we're gonna do a quick little look around the new new room layout so we're starting off here uh, with the, the the main room that's going to be you know the, the hallway in quotation marks. This is the the hallway that we're going to have. Um, obviously, no textures yet because that's what we're going to be doing. Um, and we've got this nice little UV checker on here. Uh, if you're a game dev and you know what this is for, you know that I'm using it wrong. Don't worry about it. Okay. So, um, first thing you'll notice is. Uh, there's no direct sight line through the doors, so now we have uh, we have a nice little area here. Lots of room generator here. It's a little bit in the wall. That's fine. We'll fix that later. Um, what you might notice is the lack of elevators. That's because I haven't shown them yet. They're over here. And yes, I said them. There is now two elevators for new crew. So uh, one here, one on the other side. Uh, but that one's up already. Um, so here we are so two two elevators and they each lead to the new new room to different spots so uh let's uh let's let's have a let's have a let's have a peeky peek at the the new new room here we go baby um i know we did we did a few play tests on this and it seems to be ready to ready to receive the the beauty treatment so starting out coming out of the elevator uh, it's a little bit out of the wall but um we get a wall isn't that awesome so we have uh this elevator leads here and you can come around this side where you'll have the what i'm assuming is the shelf i'll have to look at the documentation this is where the shelf will be and uh this wall right here is glass if i remember my documentation reading correctly so this will be a bulletproof glass you know you can so you can see across but you won't, you know, you don't have to take the, the, the bullets. And coming around this side, you get the other, the other elevator, right? So we got, we got two elevators. So cool. Um, now we come down to the actual nuke area. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on. Uh, up here is the other, the other elevator, right? So we got the, here it is. Here's the other elevator. Um, over here we have a little vent. Uh, yeah, don't worry about that. That's just left over from the old new room. This is this is where the, the old armory room actually is. Well, this is just stellar, isn't it? Look at that. That's what you love to see. Um, and this is a vent, so you can uh, up. Light containment zone is locked down and ready for decontamination. That's awesome. Um, we have a vent here, so you can drop down. Do a little bit of a little bit of ambush, okay? You know, do a little bit of fun, fun ambush. That'd be kind of fun. Um, yeah. So, and then the control panel. Oh. Oh, what do you know? Uh, the control panel is going to be here. This is where the control panel. I'll put this this keycard down to mark the control panel. 
that's where the control panel will be so you know you get a lot of a lot of places to look can't it's gonna be a little harder with the the camping and over here we have this is where the actual nuke will be there will be an actual like thing in this hole it's just we haven't made it yet um but yeah and you can walk around here it's quite fun fun little gizmo gadget we're gonna have tons of wires up here it's gonna be sick guys it's gonna be so cool um all and right shout outs to gaming toast all of this is possible thanks to him <laughs> and his family that he sold and used to pay for this redesign as he currently sent thank you for one of the fifty thousand remaining payments of five euro uh thank gaming toast We'll get you a little top-down view, so you guys can kind of look at it a little better. So this is the the new new room layout. Memorize, you know, get all the 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 spots in your head before we've even done it. You know, get the you know. All right. Get the jukes. Get the jukes ready. What jukes are you gonna do here? Oh, we know what. We'll I don't find know. it. We'll find it. Usually, you know, we oh don't even God. know. Someone's gonna find something like ridiculous, and it's gonna be like great. So that was awesome. Um, right, and now we're back. We're back down here. There's a few. There's obviously there's a lot of a lot of leftovers uh, from the old nuke room. We're gonna have to get rid of those or move them around. You know. Right. Ugh, there we go. Okay, so here we are. Here's the nuke room, uh, and the way that we're going to be doing our first little pass of textures is we're going to hop in uh, in Blender. Here's the nuke room in Blender. This is what it looked like. Um, so we're going to start very slowly. All right, we want to just apply the main textures first. Oh, good gracious! As you can see not very good looking so far uh quite terrible so let's uh let's hop into it if i just wanted to ask a quick question were we going to keep it as a straight hallway or did we eventually plan to turn it into a t-shaped intersection uh, i mean right now it's a, it's a straight hallway but i can pretty easily turn it into a t if uh i mean cross this is this is what i got from cross so i'm assuming this is the the final design so it's staying as a straight mm -hmm. i do have yeah i probably should read the documentation that cross sent me but I yeah I, I remember we had discussions later on i don't actually remember if we ended up agreeing on the on the t-shaped or was it just a random idea uh but if it can be easy uh, changed then it's not a big problem right now but yeah uh for those who don't know there is a slight possibility oh it's actually goodness. going to be a t-shaped but that's not confirmed. That's not confirmed. That's not confirmed. So, this is part of the process of getting levels from level design. See, now, when level design makes levels, what they have in mind is how it plays, not how it actually looks. So, um, you get a lot of model artifacts going on. So, I think step one of what we actually have to do is fix Start from scratch. <laughs> Fix everything. Yeah, pretty much we're gonna have to maybe start from scratch. We'll see what happens. Can you tell about the date of update coming? I'm sure I'm gonna assume you mean when is 14.0 releasing? Uh, when it's ready. Uh... When it's ready. But realistically, we are planning on continuing the uh, patron beta for about three more weeks. We have just completed the first week. Actually, will in about 30 minutes. Uh, and we're also planning on lowering the tier probably next week, but we'll see exactly. Uh, and then we'll uh, most likely take a short break, release it on public uh, beta, and then finish it off uh, in that period. It can take anything between a week to a month. But realistically, it's gonna come in 2024. So by the end of the year, by the end of this year, we're going to have a full release available for free on the main branch for everyone. If you could easily change the nuke hallway between a straight and T intersection, would it be possible to get variants for unique uh, rooms and halls? Um, technically speaking, should be possible. It's just a matter of efficiency, whether or not it's something that we want to do. Remember that right now it's still relatively easy to decide whether or not we want it to be straight or T because we have we have not unwrapped this model correctly. So like it's 
relatively simple to make those adjustments. Uh, but also as the time, as the implementation progresses, every single thing that we are going to do, the final details, they will need to be done twice. So all the cameras will need to be set in two places, all the clipping brushes, all the player collisions, so we can't walk on walls and, and on the ceiling or whatever. It would need to be fixed for both variants. Uh, economically speaking, it's, it doesn't make much sense. Uh, it, it is possible feasibility-wise, but not exactly something that we would like to do. Unless Jamie is up to it. <laughs> up for Don't... it. Talk to me. <laughs> how long about how long it's been um, since you actually like learned Blender? What exactly is your background in art and video game art in general? Okay, so um, Blender. I've known Blender for a little bit. I mean, I've been doing Blender stuff maybe like for five years. Uh, it's very, you know, I know Blender for game dev stuff. I don't no blender for like other stuff like if you ask me oh you know blender you can like animate a whole no I, I can't no i can't i mean i could try but no i can't you know um and then you know when i was in like 11th grade which is junior year of high school for you america i think i think it's junior i don't know what it is 11th grade right i was like yeah i want to do game dev when i grow up so i went to university i got a degree uh, and I became really good at it. And then I joined Northwood because, you know, why not? Okay. I actually asked, um, will we be getting chase music back for SCPs? Oh, I'd love to. Uh, it's, it's a feature that kind of got, like, turned into a, what we call a stretch goal. So a, a feature that we will implement if we had some time. We didn't have time during Mimicry and it eventually effectively got scrapped. Uh, but I know that our audio team is looking towards uh, implementing music for all SCPs. Right now there's technically chase music for 173, which isn't a real chase music, it's more like a ambience, but we are planning on adding it for the rest of the SCPs as well. Uh, right now we don't know if every SCP is going to have its unique one, but we want at least to have some variants. So this feature is planned. Are you able to say a bit more, like, are you, do, do, are you confident in talking about audio a bit more on stream here, but maybe a little bit of mod or something? Yeah, I'm not too sure. That that would be a question to Myth and Audio Thread. Uh, mm -hmm. These people were the one, the ones working on on, on F mod. But we we are working. It's it's always been in a back burner, but we've been making slow and but 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 steady progress. So, what about entrance zone rework? Maybe one day. I mean, you can put Maybe it this way. Day. Realistically, if you like, okay, we've reworked heavy containment zone. You know. We're probably going to rework the rest of the facility because, you know, we can't do this quality for one zone and then just like give up for the the rest of it. Patreon manager, plug the Patreon now. Uh, okay, you're not doing too well, but you know, that's okay. Yeah, um... <laughs> uh, well, okay, what, okay, <laughs> just drag me in here. Uh, Patreon.com slash uh, Hubermotzka. Fantastic. What exactly do people get when they subscribe to the Patreon, Gale? Can you tell us? Yeah, you're putting me on the spot right now. Um, currently, we have a few roles. If you want to get a Discord role and talk with other other Patreons, two dollars a month, five dollars a month. You get teasers. You get Patreon posts. We usually do teasers. them monthly. We also have memorandums that go into a bit of insights about what we could have added into the game. Uh, Ten months though, you get a cool bit. A cool badge, and then twenty dollars a month. Currently, uh, you get access to the Patreon beta that's currently going on right now for fourteen point oh. So if you want to like see cool, like I don't know, the human models and that kind of stuff, uh, well, give us twenty dollars, please. We need it. Any news or current ideas for other zone reworks? And are you planning to make the other zones have less doors, like the new heavy zone? Um, that is yeah, way yeah. too early to tell. I would say I'm not really able to give a satisfying answer to that. Um, maybe some, but we do want heavy containment zone to be this more spacious and more industrial size of the facility. I'm pretty sure we would keep the something uh, like the the framework is here, so we can still make it. So uh, only like five percent of like there's a smaller chance of it appearing, but it can still spawn with the wide open hallways without a door. Um, 
right now is way too early to tell, but from design perspective, it will definitely be, if there is going to be anything like that, it's going to be much less pronounced yeah. prominent. But there's already like a couple of ideas from developers about what they want to do with the other zones, right? Like everyone was pretty excited um, ever since we started working on Heavy Containment Zone. While you do that, I'm going to do a little a little thing. I'm going to show you guys this. This is what Grimster, I'm picturing. Sir. I'm picturing Thank you for 10 bucks. Thank you for 10 bucks, Grimstar. Thank you for the acknowledgement. Apparently, it's all about money here. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, uh, so, here's my vision. You guys can uh, have a look at my vision. So, there's this area here, right? Where it's like the elevators. I think it's kind of boring. It's kind of boring if we just leave it like this. Okay, so here's what my plan is. Starting Put from this... Fr okay, calm the fuck down. Starting from this point, okay, over here, this is all going to be like, it's going to be metal grating. Like in you know, like an armory room. You know armory room? And then it's got like the metal, you know that? Yeah. It's going to be like that. And then there's going to be like stuff down here. Maybe like, like storage or like uh, some like... Right intense lighting and you can and the elevators you can see elevators sh the elevator shaft going down like into the into the darkness which Im you know implies bigger space pretty cool so i think uh i think it'd be pretty cool if we had like you know you know a little more a little more implied maybe the, maybe this is the omega warhead that they're talking about it's down, <laughs> it's down instead of up. real question mark Alright, Gail, we got special guest, Fuki Duki, the oh, uh, ne lead de level, uh, the, the level oh, designer, level A designer, Fuki Duki, creator of Junk Room and Pipe Room, on wow. the phone right now on WhatsApp. Hello. Hello? That's true. Yeah. yeah I'm on the phone. <laughs> There's Fluki. It's gonna be great. Fluki, I need you do to we have fix any questions? everything. She can't actually hear you because like it's on my phone oh. and I'm wearing head head headphones. Fluki, right, so, like... you're fired. Fluki, you're fired according okay. to Jamie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? Why? The, the people need to know that you can, if you play the game correctly, you can open some doors. Not all doors can be opened though. You need some items. If you beat the door, it will say no. Sometimes you need cards. What? what? The car which you can use to open all doors. I um, can't understand Fluky. I can't understand the American accent. Gun, the gun can you can steal cards from people you don't like. And yes, in 14.0, you still can uh, press W to move forward in case some of you got scared. What? Um, what is happening? It's revolutionary. It's revolutionary. You can also. Um, I you know, your your, your supervisor is can, concerned. Uh, you can press S to go backwards. Thanks, in case please. something scary. Can you? Uh, thank you, thank you, Blooky Dicky. Thank you, Blooky, for your time. What thank you for the... your time, Blooky Dicky. We need to. Get... <laughs> what happened? Why did Fl <laughs> Why did Flicky become like deranged? <laughs> we broke. We broke Flicky. I am convinced they were like reading off something. I can still oh, hear. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Shut up! Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 what is happening? Oh no! Yellow, <laughs> yellow, <laughs> yellow oh, pipe. <laughs> right, there you go. We're we're good. We're good. Right. <laughs> for, blink for blinking under space. Well, now in point point zero, we're introducing a new feature of uh, server-specific hotkeys. So technically, oh, so you can make a mod for that. Is she calling you again? No, no, wait, we got, we got level design supervisor this time. Oh, Soup. a huge. Hello, Soup, what do you have to say on stream? What, what? Oh, you're on stream. <laughs> wait, 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 what? What do you mean, wait, what? what you're calling! <laughs> you're calling! You're the one who called! I'd like to apologize for, um, for um, Tricky Dookie's, uh, behavior back then, um, that is not, <laughs> not representative of, of the studio as a whole. Uh. Sounds good.
I don't feel like <laughs> Oh my god. We just got. You, you, you good? You, you good? You good? It, she's gone again. Okay, oh man. How much can you add, like, fuck? pipes or something that takes, like, the smoke from the nuke or something to cool down the heat? I'm watching the stream. Why or, would like, you like to cool the down the heat? You're supposed to ex. The nuke is supposed to explode. It doesn't require cooling. It's not a re reactor. It's a it's a warhead. It's a nuclear warhead. It's a thermonuclear warhead. Maybe it, it uses is a, a reactor. Toothpaste. Maybe it's it you know, maybe maybe state. we can change it. Maybe it's actually a nuclear reactor that it gets detonated and it also provides all the power. Wow! And nuclear reactors don't explode like nukes. Because well, guess what? Nuclear reactors are not built to explode like nukes because that would be a terrible reactor explosion. Well, but Simpsons... now, but that's something maybe they considered. They're like, here's a we um, patented um, a new design. For... Listen. Listen, I I watched I watched uh, you watch Chernobyl? I watched I watched, I watched Chernobyl. Chernobyl watched video. So I'm basically a nuclear physicist, okay? So okay, right. That's I don't yeah. know about that actually. Oh shit! <laughs> so oh, yo yo. And so what was the question? Will SCP own? Congratulations on supervisor soup. Everyone, clap your hands. Chat. Can you get a supervisor before I did? I, I have like I have like fifteen seconds. What was the question? Uh, will will O nine six's chamber be reworked? Um, uh, I'm uh, I'm allowed to say that. Yeah, I'm being asked. Uh, yeah, the yeah kind of dumb yeah right? yeah we're gonna have a okay. Bye. Will it be in fourteen There you okay. go. You heard it here. I, 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 I love I love I love being asked. Am I allowed to say that? And then working through it, saying, "Oh, I'm being asked." Yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, look. <laughs> Help! It's crazy. Please, <laughs> please, please. Wait, you know what we need? Was lighting. Before we had the the current design for the 106 box, there was experiments. We did ex there was we were experimenting into the esoteric region, and I think this is. A good okay no that's just that's just the cube that's not anything interesting um i think it was somewhere here yeah this remember this this was the this was our experimentation into the esoteric containment design um i was pro top whimsar i the top was my idea of course i'm gonna be pro top what are you talking about um <laughs> I don't want clip champ. No, I don't want one drive. So we we would we were doing this like yeah, it was even it was red at one point as well. It was crazy. Look at this red cube. This looks kinda sick. You got I mean come on, you gotta be real, this looks kinda kinda cool. Alright, look at that. Big red cube. Um there was also this. I guess I guess the a, a law reason was because you know, you could see the corrosion with the white paint if 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 you know there's also this. In case you're confused. <laughs> 106 white paint cube. With corrosion. And the top. Now with extra top. And, uh. Yeah, and then it just sort of. Oh, there's the ropes version. This is the ropes version. There was ropes. There was ropes on the corner. That's Tesla. Uh, there was ropes on the corners and it would hold it down. It was gonna look so cool. And then they were like, no, you know. And I was like, ah. No reason. You can't have it physically attached. That defies the whole point of 106's containment being suspended by magnets. You cannot have any physical. Yeah, hey, I, I, I was ready to make that it's an exception. Okay, but Cross was the one who said Excuse no. Excuse so. me. I was also the one who said no. Um, Jamie Michael. Afton. Jamie Michael Afton. <laughs> I was just gonna read that one. When you worked on the textures for Containment Breach, were you surprised by how popular the game got? No, because I joined very late in development and it was already already popular so I no, I guess not um, but I I, I a reminder I only made like a few textures and then the game like died so you know I was right at the end of the timeline Jamie will elevators be receiving new textures I mean I'd like to I just don't know if that's on the the, 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 the table of things we can do at the moment uh, maybe maybe later
Will the music that was in the 14.0 trailer have a full extended version of it, or was that soundtrack made purely for the purpose of being a trailer music? Okay, that's, that's a funny story to be told here. Um, so, the soundtrack that we use for the Patreon beta release trailer was actually made in 2000. Thank you, Trollian, for five pounds. Um, it was actually made in 2021, I think. As only a sample track made by our uh, sound designer slash composer Sixy, so the only the only the only part of the music that we have on that is the entire trailer. Like what you hear on that on the on the Patreon beta release trailer is the entire track. That's that's it. There's nothing else, and we can't actually turn that into a full extended version because since 2021, Sixy lost the project file. So. That bit of music is forever gone. How many Steam achievements? How many new Steam achievements will be getting? Um, we can actually answer that. Hang on, Gail, do you have the exact number? I should have the number. Give me a second, let me bring it up. Uh, I will say it is not the final number, however, but it is a number. It's I a can rough you. number. It's yeah. a rough number. Let me grab some real quickly. The number of achievements so far, I think we've actually said, have been. So it should be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think 12 achievements, I believe. 12 new achievements of um, varying difficulties. Yeah. It can be a simple, it'll be as simple as um, using SCP 1576 to. Um, get a kill with each with different weapon for, with four kills. To get four kills, each has to be a different weapon. Or All kills while each with a different weapon, yeah. In a single life. Yeah. That's a pretty fun one, I think. Uh, will you add Steam's workshop support? I think I'm gonna, like, increase that question more to are we gonna be supporting, like, modding, Hubert? Like, how much will we put into that? No, uh, no actual plans right now. We're mostly focusing on uh, server side modifications. So like in 14.0, for example, we introduced a framework that allows SC, uh, uh, sorry, server owners to uh, define keybinds. So players playing on a server can go to their settings, assign the keybinds to specific functions, and the server will know whenever player presses that key. And that allows them to create things like custom abilities. Technically something that was already possible, but just not that convenient. And this is the kind of support that we're looking uh, to improve or increase. But as for uh, workshop, not really, not right now. If if anything, I, I uh, I'm hoping I'm not saying anything super controversial right now. But I feel like um, Garry's mod breach had an issue where all of the servers had too many of everything, too many SCPs, too many items, too many uh, like smaller things like fidget spinners at one point and like others and, and, and other things and, and and server side skins and things like that where it was completely un uh like unrecognizable i feel like that was a big problem with uh Gatherous mod breach and i'm not sure if that was actually on every server but at least on the servers that i played on so i do have some form of skepticism when it comes to introducing uh you know, Steam uh, full full Steam Workshop support. Yeah, more is better. It definitely feeds the existing community, which is good. The only problem is that then you have absolute zero influx of new players because everyone joins the game, uh, is confused by what's going on, and then just leaves. <laughs> so, like, if you introduce it gradually, it's all great. That's why we are focusing so much on the reworks. Um, and it's taking us a while to implement a new SCP because we are actually taking. Um, we want to make sure that it has the right balance of approachability and uniqueness compared to other SCPs. We don't want to just slap a hundred SCPs, which are basically the same SCP where you walk and, and left-click people and they die. That will... that that's not what we're planning to do here. So, yeah, quality control. That's basically what we're trying to achieve here. And I feel like it's a little too early for Steam Workshop. Maybe when the game is already at a decline and when people are already when we have no new players and, and everyone starts leaving, maybe that's when we're going to introduce uh, Steamworks, uh, not Steamworks, uh, Steam Workshop, and 
that could hopefully keep the game uh, alive for a few extra years, but right now, not really anything uh, that we're planning on doing. Dr. Pre is talking, guys, so you, we gotta, we gotta listen. We, we gotta listen. Could I suggest that instead of having a big concrete block around the elevators like you have now, you make it a metal mesh and you could see all the metal supports, wiring and pipes and the elevator shafts? That is a pretty good idea. The only thing I'm worried about is that the elevators, like, cause see, I thought about that, like having no concrete and instead having like the actual shaft visible with the. That'd be cool as hell. But dude, the thing yeah. is, man, the elevator doesn't look great <laughs> from the outside. So unless I can actually change the elevator, pause. You can, if you want. All right, you heard it here, guys. I'm changing the elevator. Um, <laughs> you know what, Dr. Pre, genius, we'll do that. Genius ideas. Genius I'm gonna ideas straight here. up just delete this entire concrete block, and uh, we'll see and what we, happens. So will, will the elevators go downstairs or upstairs? Upstairs. So will you be able to see the elevator going up, or what would it be? Yeah. So we're adding the shaft upstairs as well. Honestly, I think if the elevator goes down and you can see the hu you can see people coming up from the pit, it'll be super cool. I'll be honest. I think that I would mean, be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, we we, we could, could change it so the elevator goes down. I mean, the do I know that in in game when you actually do have the elevator, it does shimmy. Real you know what? Why don't why don't I just like run the game and just have a little peek at how the elevators are functioning. It's wild. I was oh. I was completely ready oh. to walk in and just fall straight through the map because that's happened <laughs> so many times. Yeah. It's not even funny. I mean Um Terran Hawk, LC light containment zone is indeed above heavy containment zone, but that doesn't matter where the nuke is placed because <laughs> everything you know about um, the zones in in game. I like to say that I like to say that the playable space in SCPSL, what you see in the facility, is only like twenty percent of what's actually how big Side O Two actually is. Like it's an SCP facility. SCP facilities are massive, right? Like what you play in game, it's just a small part of the facility. Like who knows what's actually happening on the other side. Maybe a zombie infection is happening on the other side of the facility. I also like to imagine that the first elevator goes like hundreds of meters underground and then light containment and heavy containment is just a difference oh. of a couple of hundred meters. Yeah. So this... I mean... We can work with this, maybe. It's just, there is a bit of a... a bit you can of make a completely new mesh, like it's not a problem to implement that. Can we make independent elevator meshes? So like yeah, you can this... make different sizes. You can make different sizes. You can make anything you want. I mean, like just Ooh. so like just it, this one. Like if I make one for I nuke, it just appears in nuke room. You can else. you can make it like exactly yeah. Okay, uh, guys. You know what I'm gonna be? I'm thinking it's gonna Do be whatever you want, and uh, if it doesn't work. I'll make it work. I think it's. Um, I think I'm gonna make it an open elevator, so it's not gonna have walls or a ceiling. Like, you'll, you'll have the platform and, like, railings, and you go up and you can see... Oh, is that a good idea? Maybe a, maybe a ceiling, just so that you don't get shot from the elevator shaft. <laughs> so I think, um... I think that'd be pretty cool. What do we think, chat? Ha! Ah, fuck. This is actually really cool. Hang on, hang on, we gotta do a vote, we gotta do a poll. A poll? Yeah, okay, get okay, the poll. This... Is this a good idea? Is this a good idea? Yeah, yeah, a utility elevator, that's a good way to describe it, yeah. Yeah. Utility is elevator. this a good idea? <laughs> is it? I don't know. So this is gonna be a new type of elevator, pretty much. And it shouldn't be too hard to make as well, I'm just uh... So, just to reiterate what the idea is, um, we're gonna make a unique elevator for Nuke Room, which will be like a, um, you know, let me pull up MS Paint. Which will be, it'll be something like this. So you'll have the actual platform on which the elevator is on. And instead of having walls, what it'll have is like, just like the, like a, like handrails like this. Maybe. 
you know? And maybe and maybe we can have like a like a roof as well. But there won't be any walls, right? So we can make an elevator shaft so that you can you go up and down and you get maybe you get like wires called going past, you know. <laughs> ah, fuck. And then, yeah. and then it goes and then it goes down instead of up. And it goes down instead of up as well, apparently. We can do that too. That'll be so cool. There, you, oh you'll be God. able to stand here yeah. and see your friends go away on the elevator <laughs> as they as they hit the button before you can get on, and you're like, "Hey, good would, luck." Would you be able to actually see anything through the elevator, or? You mean? What do you mean by that? Like, will the elevator have any windows when it's closed, or not? Because that no, no, might so, be a problem. Um. Yes. Actually, there's not okay. going to be there's not going to be any walls on the elevator. There's going to be just a fence. This is the oh, fence. Okay. Is it's it has... fine. Uh, it's fine as long as we make the teleportation somewhat seamless. So like, no, it should be it should be fine. Honestly, it's gonna okay. be absolutely. We're gonna we're gonna use the endless pit shader to smooth it. It's gonna be fine. Uh, it's gonna be an absolutely yeah. anti camping mecha- anti camping uh, elevator. Yeah. You cannot camp this elevator. Wow, we. No more camping. Are there any plans to buff 106 and 14.0? Hmm. Uh, so currently, heavy containment zone is very unfriendly to some SCPs and very problematic to others, like 049 and uh, 096 have great time in heavy containment zone, and people don't. So like that's one thing that we'll be addressing. I don't know how yet. I don't know if we're gonna be rebalancing them or rebalancing heavy containment zone. Uh, 106 definitely suffers, mm. so we he may get a little bit of a buff. I do like the idea of a heavy containment zone being slightly more SCP friendly because it fixes an issue of people camping elevators. There is not that many people camping elevators because it's no longer the meta. At least on beta, at least from what I noticed, maybe like this is purely my own experience, so I don't know the exact stats. Yeah. But it does seem that because heavy containment zone is so much better for SCPs, people tend to stay in there. Asking about how the clutter system works, and I think this would be a pretty cool opportunity to explain and uh, do a little little showcase of how the clutter system works. Um, so the new, new heavy containment zone stuff. So every room has this special little thing. It looks like this in the, in the editor. And uh, it's it's like a little preview of all the clutter that can spawn uh, in the spot. Now, for for this corner room, it doesn't spawn all of them because there is. Uh, if you guys play the beta, you know that there's one with a big orange pipe that has fences that come out to here. Um, I've removed that one from this one, so you know we won't you won't see that one now with the new update. But um, how it works is we have a it's like a chance system. So. Uh, here in the and this is pretty much how every room is like this pretty much but um it might vary a bit but so there's a one in three chance that it will spawn a bark door one in three chance that it will spawn a random clutter which is like these boxes and stuff and one in three chance that it will spawn nothing and it will just be an open hallway and uh each of these elements i mean you know these are the chances that they say spawn yada yada yeah you get the point that's how the clutter system works, pretty much. It just um, pairs them together, and if one room... Let's say if this room connects to another room, and this room says, Hey, don't spawn this one, like it's not in here, then it won't spawn that one in that connection point. So, that's how the clutter system works, and we can we can mess around with it and add and remove clutter as we want. It's all, like, easy peasy. Um, will the server room ever make a comeback? Yes. We answered this earlier in the stream, but yeah, server room will be coming back. It's just getting redesigned, and I'm gonna try this elevator go down thing. See what happens. So if I now move it here, I think that's far enough away. Yeah, that should just work. Where are the fucking lights? Oh, that's what okay, I left up there. Go, go. Just so you guys know, this is exactly what it's like every single day working on, on like anything. It's it's just like oh, guessing. Okay. It's all guesswork. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, wait. Where the fuck is this? That's fine. Uh, uh, yeah, you can you can just put it as deep as you feel. You're not gonna hear any sounds, which is probably around 200 meters. So probably there. Which is like the. 
That's fine. That's about the distance of 0.9's chamber, I think. Yeah, that's fine. You're not gonna hear anything from there. Alright, let's see if this works, I guess. Um, no, it won't, because you didn't go to the elevator, Zach. I told you. It will work, it'll be fine. It will work, but it will go up and then teleport from down <laughs> to the bottom one and come and arrive from downstairs. So no, because you can't be... No, no, you place them work. geometrically, it'll but work. the system still thinks they're it'll upstairs. So the end. It'll work, it'll be fine. I just came back, what did you do? It'll work, Gail, do? it'll be... You need a voucher, it'll work. Uh, what, what, what? Halloween! Spoiler, huh? it's not gonna work. It's gonna huh? work. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I, so look, it's already it's already so good looking that I can't d discern it from the other ones. Now what right, it, check uh, this out. Not, what it arrived from the from the top. You, you need to look higher, you know, in order to see it. <gasps> what did Holy I say? I told you, man. I know what I'm doing. You gotta you gotta put a what little faith in the old Jamie. Oh. <laughs> oh. Huh? 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 Oh. 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 Uh, Wait, that's just, that's just geometry, because that's uh, if you, if you If you call it, does it go up or down? Try it on no clip. From the outside. Goes up. What the fuck? How does it work? Uh, I told you, man. I, it's, it, it works. So you need to have a little more faith in the old... If you, uh, if you go to Steam uh, View and click, and click on that no elevator idea. door... <laughs> yeah. I'm sick. You get fucking graded when you come in to, from the, the nation. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, my plan is completely flawless. So... <laughs> you know, it's easy. Anyway, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Boom! This is the start of something great. I th hope. That, I mean, that looks pretty cool. Seeing the elevator go down, that's, you know, hey, that's... Wow. Beautiful. It accelerates instantly though. Yeah, well, we might might need to tweak it a little. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we can traps. We can make it accelerate slower. Quick cube all these years you finally made work at below. <laughs> if you if you go go to the elevator's door settings actually. No. No, the chamber upstairs, the elevator chamber, uh, elevator okay? Chamber. And oh, now you oh, have tra oh, translation, translation curve. curve. Whoa. And you can make it, make it more like, um, edit this thing so it doesn't start, uh, like, instant. Yeah, yeah, something like that, but uh, not exactly. Wait, 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 was it actually between 0 and 1, or was it something else before? I don't know. Can I control Never Z? Mind. Oh, shit. Um. Okay, whatever. It's, uh, it's just, just, yeah, try something one. like that. That's, that's the ease, ease, ease curve. Alright, let's have a go. This one, 15. Zero, zero, 15, zero. Zero, 15, zero. And the bottom one, zero, negative fifteen, zero. Negative fifteen, zero. All right. And that should be it. And watch at the elevator coming slowly now and slowly accelerating. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> you may sure? return. You may Are return. You, sure? <laughs> you may return the Z let call, to, let call to it back. Two. You have. You see the Z component or Z? You're Aussie. Forgot. Uh, go the, from the target position, copy the one from target position. Okay, this one? And and paste it back. Uh, I thought that was relative, but it's absolute. Never mind. Okay. Try it now. It's gonna be beautiful, okay? And you can even change it to like 5 and minus 5 if okay. you want, okay? Okay, let's just see if... Oh! Yeah, and it disappears and it's going to reappear again, so that's why we need to put the an endless pit thingy here. It does arrive still very, uh, hold on. We need to, we need to edit that translation curve a little more. <laughs> and I was like, how do I like, wake you up? Time to get there some keys. I was, uh, in the I was in the kitchen making dinner. Okay. Let's, no, you let's, weren't. Okay, let's just have a go. Anyways. Okay. Let's just, okay. Let's, let's this better the, be the sick. Hey, right, Jamie, let's, let's do the third key. Whoa, that's, no. it, that's, that's good. I got it. Everyone right, get it. Everyone get it. Oh, yeah. 
Fuck! It just stopped at the end, that's why it was only here, because it's like the only animation for this specific door. There's no stairs, it's but going yeah. To show up. It's going to show up, and then it's going to oh. accelerate. <laughs> the... Yeah, I mean, but the... Whoa. that's fine. That's because in your translation curve, you have it on both ends. Uh, try making one end linear, and I don't know which one. I Do like that. Okay. Boom. It okay. should be fine, yeah. Let's see if that... Please. Please. <laughs> Please. It could, be, it could be the other way around. Oh! Yeah, yeah it, should, it was no, the other but way that, around. No, but, uh, but that's, that's... No, no, no. I think if, if we call it back... No, because this is the translation. So now, wouldn't this... It would arrive smoothly now, because it's only... It's one one way? I think it's like... No. Nope. Fuck. <laughs> it's just the other way. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. But we also Wait. need to match the other curve, but it's fine. Check okay, we out. can do it. Maybe the real key was the friends we made. Oh, the uh, 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 yes! It's crazy. <laughs> it's peak. It's peak. It's give me the. It's peak. At pipes under the catwalk. Oh We're not there yet. Oh, Mikel's in the street. Get Mikel in here! Get Mikel in here! Mikel! Mikel! Mikel, it's peak! It is peak! I need to- hang on, I need to- I need to redo everything I just did, just to show you, but- Oh my god, no. <laughs> what are you making new elevators? We're making new elevators! Who is Mikel? Who is Mikel? Alright, hi Mikel. Okay, okay, hello. Hello everyone. I'm Mikel Mikel, introduce yourself. I am the Northwood Studios art manager. I'm in charge of overseeing all the different art projects that the studio takes on and making sure they all get released on time. All get released on time, Jamie. Can you make new elevators for 14.0? I've already <laughs> already done that. What? Okay, no, that, well, that's the original. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, the, the one to the right. Uh, move it to the scene. The one to the right, okay. Yep. And uh, go up in hierarchy. Oh, shit. Um, up in hierarchy. Rename it uh, to something like elevator chamber. Oh, yeah, yeah, nuke yeah. elevator, whatever. Oh, I... uh, nuke elevator chamber, probably that's the best. Elevator chamber nuke. Nuke. There we that's go. That's fine. Elevator manager at the very bottom. Elevator manager. Right above. Yep. Custom chambers, expand that part. Custom chambers. Add one extra one at the end. And you can make any changes to that prefab now, and it Fantastic. will uh, create an overwrite. So now, it's the first time I'm seeing this thing. Um, fantastic. Now, it will be peak. If only it didn't look so shit. I'll do this another time. This won't be on stream. Well, I mean, maybe maybe we'll do another stream. We are not releasing 14.0 this year or the next year. We're just <laughs> we keep over scoring. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're delayed now because of these elevators. Like I was trying to focus on an essay I had to write for a class, which is like, hey, we can just do this and then new elevators and this and that. Like, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Listen, hey, about a babida. It's fine. Look, if you can get it done for 14.0 in a timely manner without, you know, killing yourself <laughs> over it, it's going to be fine. It's a <laughs> reasonable, alright? You best know if I'm getting hospitalized, I'm continuing on new cream from the hospital bed. Again. <laughs> again. <laughs> again. Yeah, oh, you don't I, know. <laughs> you don't know? I worked on Tesla. No, I do, I do, but the chat, does, the chat wouldn't know. Uh, yeah, sure yeah. Context, I made Tesla room while I was in hospital on my laptop. It was awesome. Oh yeah, I, I am, I'm also in the game design department. Like, what yeah, can I say? Like, what am I allowed to say here? Uh, what am I allowed to say? Huh. Shit, man. <laughs> Melee weapons, huh? There aren't any planned, but like... The framework for melee weapons are there, you know, with like, jail, the jailbird and stuff, so like... If ever we think like it's a good idea to add new melee weapons or something, maybe a mop in heavy um, in light containment zone. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> he he. Janitor class. I... Yeah, janitor class. <laughs> That's not mm. gonna be added, by the way. Don't don't like yeah, take no, my no, words. Yeah, um, it's certainly possible, but at the moment we don't find we don't really see a need for melee weapons. You know, but maybe we can give like... MTF a sledgehammer or something. I'll fucking know. Someone's been asking how to get models for things and guns. Uh, usually, now, I don't know, we can't like, I don't know what the, the legality of us endorsing things in, but there is a Discord server called SCPSL Blender Ports, which does have ports yeah, of pretty fine. much everything. It's all fine. 
It's yeah. all fun. Yeah, yeah. All, all of our all of our models, all of our like in-game textures are all Creative Commons. So like we don't officially provide them, honestly, only because we're like lazy and we don't have any official distribution of that. So like we don't feel like hosting it anywhere or like specifically hosting yeah. the, the the thing. But the game is for you. Feel free to data mine it and like yeah. take any models from the game, whatever it is. The 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 thing that we actually hold our rights to is our services so the verification system and everything like that so like legally legally and even morally we're not preventing you from doing anything in the game if you're modified in a way where it causes some advantage or modified in any way uh, and try to play the game we may ban you from our services meaning that you're gonna get like banned for cheating uh because there is no way of checking what exact modifications you made but if you want to extract anything from the game and not actually modify anything in the game, then you can safely do so and, and there's nothing that we're going to do to stop you. If you are interested in the... Um, if you are interested in any of our 3D models um, for Blender work, go on to our public Discord server and... I think it should be in the advertisements channel somewhere, but there is a Discord server called... An unofficial Discord server, might I add, called... SCPSL Blender ports. It's community ran, and in this Discord server, there's pretty much every single um, every single SCPSL model that you can think of that you would yeah. need for the um Shout out for your Phoenix. animation projects. <laughs> Shout out, Shout Phoenix. out, Phoenix. Yeah. For doing all that. And same 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 thing applies even to our newest models, like the new heavy containment zone and stuff like that. Even if you uh, have access to the beta and you decompile it and get those models, you can share them where you want. Yeah, go for it. I mean, a lot of a lot of the te the textures for the heavy containment zone are already public. You can get them from the Google Drive for the art contest stuff. I don't know if that's actually been put anywhere except the art contest. It channel. is in the site auto transmissions number five, number four. Ah, okay, number four site auto transmission. Number five, number five. There. Sorry. I think number the only... five site auto transmission. There's a Google Drive link in there. I think the only thing is you have to do attrib attribution because it's CC by SA. If I'm... Yep. Yeah. You, you, you can you can take full credit for that. You need to credit Jamie or Northwood or just credit, really North, just credit Northwood. Don't credit me. Just credit Northwood. <laughs> credit Jamie. You're We're a team. Northwood. We're Both a team credit. here. I know, but it's it's uh, it's been Creative Commons. It's all about reasonable crediting. So like whatever you feel is reasonable. It's all about just not pretending that it's all yours and that it actually was made by someone. And as long as someone is able to Google the name and find it, then it's all fine. Divorce papers are not part of our privacy policy and... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Plooky Dooky, level designer. Plooky Dooky is a level designer that made the two new heavy rooms, such as Jump We've Room and them. the Pipe Room. Welcome, Plooky Dooky, what, what, what you have to say? Um... You joined this VC. I uh, like to oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> You're on stream. You're live. You're right? I like to. I right like to. I like to thank um, all of the patrons for spending money to see my beautiful room, the junk room, and my other beautiful room, the pipe room, which has been updated. So now you can use the vent in the pipe room, not the other pipe room with the toilet. It's the pipe room with the vent. In case you didn't know. Um, I would also like to thank, um, programming for keeping the W key, pressing it does something. Oh, and that's uh, again. No, we're out. Uh, Goodbye, no, 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 Well, it was nice oh. knowing you, Fluky. It was nice will never you. be heard from again. Yeah. Uh, hang on, let's actually, uh, Fluky. Oh, Fluky's <laughs> uh, back. Alright, Pluki. So, can you explain to the chat a little bit more about what goes into des level design? Like, uh, what's your level design process? What do you What do you do? Well, you see, my process depends on how I'm feeling. Like, if I'm feeling a little silly, sometimes I'll just make the gray box without drawing anything. That just lets me go around. But usually, it's more better to like make it sketch first, because like then you have a clue what you're going to do. Um, especially for more important rooms. Uh, like, uh, the silo. Uh, I didn't work in this one, but, um, someone else did. Um, once the sketch is done, uh, of course you have that gray box getting made. Uh, it's basically just the outline and of the room in general. 
Uh, some props may be put in there, but they're usually only there for um, just to convey uh, something in the room, like say, like some props you can climb on, or like boxes, or, like a ladder you can mount, some pallets. Um, once that's done, we just basically write up a bunch of stuff um, about it uh, in documentation. And then they have to get like approved, and once it's approved, we just uh, get sent off. Are you experiencing with verticality like second randomly generated floor slash basement? Um, prior to my uh, me joining the studio, I had like ideas in regards to like verticality. Um, like one idea I had. This is from before the studio, so like don't count on it because he's probably totally never gonna edit. Um. Is like I thought I had was like um, entrance zone, but like we just copy the same layout, duplicate on the top, and just like merge it with the bottom zone, and so it's like a second floor um, that runs across the zone. Um, vertically like that would be incredibly interesting to see in the game, um, and honestly, I think it should be possible. Um, but I'd like to see. Um, uh, the map being used in interesting ways like that. We work in the UI. Um, yeah, I mean, we just hired a new yeah. UI designer called name. His name is Jank, and he's been working on a bunch of fantastic stuff. Like, like the the stuff he's been showing in in our Discord, it's absolutely amazing. Like, I am genuinely excited to see his work in the game. And like, yeah, UI rework. It's awesome. Remember, if you don't like uh, our current UI, you can always press P to turn off. <laughs> uh, ah, here's a good question for you, Blueki. What do you think about the secret spots for SCPs to get on, and do you think it will affect the balance of the game? I think that's funny as shit. Um, <laughs> like, nice in, in pa Junk Room, that's definitely intentional for once in free. I've seen 9 for 9 sometimes get on there. Which, I mean, isn't intentional but i don't really care if they get on there as long as they don't try to abuse it in some like unknown way that i had no clue about um pipe room has like a couple issues with that too right. um but it's very much interesting uh the way people can like climb all over the place uh it makes you really reevaluate uh what you did to your room is like it's like um it's essentially like a qa really where they just like you send it in, and they like your expectations are like, oh, they're gonna play like this, but they end up like playing in such like a obtuse and esoteric way. That like really like gives you like at the best, it will give you some ideas on how to like uh, do something similar in your rooms. Yeah, it's really it's, this progress is really slow because I'm, I'm like half but half focusing. If you look at this right, you grab one of these boxes. Yeah, you get. See, oh, what the f- The camera is all screwy, but as you can see right there, it says art department is the best. So, and that's a Holy fact. Shit. Because the game More never driven. lies. Uh, I can only do, I can only do four. Alright, I'm, I'm not sure if you can hear me right now, because I'm uh, in my kitchen and I'm cooking right now. Uh, but, uh... <laughs> you didn't put Blukey on this list. <laughs> Can you actually hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can hear you. Oh, that's crazy. How bad is it? It's okay. Can you show yeah, up when you're cooking? Cool. It's loading. He's, he's getting oh, all wait, pixely, wait. but he's, it's loading. Oh, oh there, there we go. I, I run. Here we... oh. So here, here's, here's the problem. It's frozen. Oh, it's frozen. frozen. Hold on, hold on, it's frozen. <laughs> Don't show anything interesting. <laughs> it just freezes every time you turn it on. I just see cheese. <laughs> cheese! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the next frame. Oh, it's, oh, lettuce. Oh, it's, right. <laughs> it's lettuce. It's oh. lettuce. 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 Oh my god, I can see it. It's okay. Let's wait until the next frame. Oh man, this is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> next slide, please. <laughs> next it's slide. It's like a jump scare. All right, can we now please focus on making the nuke room? I'm gonna make <laughs> you're right. You're right. I would like to... You're right. You're right. We should be doing the nuke room. What's going on? Uh, no, that's on. a good idea. X, you wanted to say something? You go on. I was gonna, I was oh. gonna suggest a capybara segment. Oh, it could be nice. A capybara segment? Yeah. What is? What's the? What's the capybara segment? Where we 
put the capybara? Well, somewhere? yeah, but we need we need the room to be done to do that. <laughs> the room to be done. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. need like the room to be at least like somewhat, you know, done. Capybara powered nuke is a very good idea. Yeah, make him like actually like I don't know, like work the nuke. This is a nuke work. If we put him in the warhead, we have to wait for the prop to be made. Put him in a hamster reel. We can have him rotating in the in the warhead. He's like <laughs> like I guess that works. Make him, make him like a placeholder for the for the actual nuke room for the actual nuke. <laughs> He's the, the warhead. Okay. He is the warhead. Hold on, the one. Hold on a minute, you're cooking some. Here. Okay, now he has to kind of fit. Oh. He's so big. He's rotund. Alpha warhead. Wait. Oh my god. Guys, can you find the hidden capybara in this image? Guys, I, I sure do wonder where the capybara there is. A, <laughs> there should be a script called like rotate or something like that. Oh, the automatic rotate, rotate script. Out. Okay, here we here we go. Moment of truth. Let's just get the full screen popping. This better be just the coolest thing ever. What? He's he escaped. He's loose! Where, where he go? I'm scared! Where is he? Where is he? Where's um, Capybara? Gotta find them! I hope it's- Get the red circle, quick! Where's the red circle? <laughs> oh no, no, we gotta get to the bottom of this. I'm not letting that- uh, Hold on a second here. Oh! I know why. I didn't put it in the nuke prefab. Hey, there we go. Alright, got now this should be the one. This should be the one. <laughs> Alright, give me some good, baby. Let's see. Oh, it's on the oh, wrong axis! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we gotta fix this now. <laughs> well, this is not good. Pause that. Help me! The rotation of that capybara powers the facility. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, I don't. Okay. I don't. Yeah, don't stand too close. Ah. <laughs> uh, hey, let's speak It's like on a wheel. wheel. You can put her. In, you can put them in. Like you have. The, you have the copy inside the object. You see that? You can just put a little offset. The object inside this object. Use the blue arrow and move her closer. Oh my god, you did bring a lot more effort in this <laughs> thing spinning than the actual room <laughs> <laughs> has. That's huge. It's peak. Oh, goodness. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll, yeah. He looks like you put him on a kebab and you're like slowly rotating him <laughs> to cook. Put a fire particle below him or spit roast in the cafe bar. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not. How about we actually work on the nick now? <laughs> well, that's the end of the stream. We've made fantastic <laughs> progress. I, As you can see, the room I is exactly can't. as it was at the start of the stream. <laughs> and there's a capybara <laughs> spinning. But I mean, the the other one is... Uh, is no, 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 okay, okay, okay. No, no. So. Go, go back. Go back to the uh, elevator room and yeah. let's review our progress. And what review is our pro review. progress review. Pro I mean... We've got- I've got a good fundamental idea of what this is gonna look like, which is, I think, a good step in the right direction. You know, we got- we got the- the first pass of the textures down. Uh... Yeah, I, I think it's quite good. I've got- we've got the elevator prefab set up, so we can- I can, uh, do that. Is this why updates take a year? Yeah, pretty much. Um... Yeah, you know, we're- we're cooking, question mark? Patreon.com slash Mosca. Genuinely, thank you for the support you've been giving to the Patreon. It genuinely means a lot. Right, wait, 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 pause, 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 pause. We have one more thing to show on stream. Hubert has cooked something. Are <laughs> 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 you fucking kidding? Me. What is that? Can you it's, give us a salad? Something. Can you give us a salad? Oh, yeah, well, no shit, it's a salad. What kind of salad? You specify what you got it's in there. Secret lab. Delicious Polish food. Oh, he's, delicious he's, hit the, food. he's hit the Most bench. He's, he's dead. Food. Oh, he's oh, dead. Right. <laughs> Kill Salad him. that kills you. <laughs> he's Salad that kills you. <laughs> All right. Well. Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. -bye. bye, -bye. Wee. bye, -bye.